Maryland lecturer Jason Nichols joining us now from Washington, D.C. Well, we're not going to refer directly um, to those claims about uh, child soldiers, but we will bring the Kurds into this because if the United States says it's only going to pull out if you, Turkey, can protect the Kurds, and Turkey says we're going ahead with our operation into that part of Syria, the potential for a clash between two NATO allies is, is pretty severe, isn't it? It is. Uh, well, first of all, I think it's important to remember that, that John Bolton is, is himself a, a pretty troubling figure. He's someone who uh, doesn't believe in multilateral institutions. He's someone who uh, has always had Iran in his crosshairs, which will destabilize the entire region. I think, you know, security for the Kurds is extremely important, but the United States needs to be careful about who we get involved in strategic partnerships with. So uh, in that regard, I think that uh, pr uh, President Erdogan actually has a point. Um, so I think that the United States of America really has to think very hard about how we can provide security uh, for the Kurds and for other people in Syria. Okay. So that uh, itself provides a particular problem rather than a solution if the United States is providing a security for those Kurds in that area and Turkey says a lot of those people there are actually terrorists in our estimation um, once again there's there's a problem isn't there between the two nations yes I, I, well I think that this is an issue that I think that both nations can discuss and try to get through. I think that one of the problems here is that uh, one individual in particular, uh, Mr. Bolton, is making comments from Israel. Uh, you know, the Turks are making comments uh, from Turkey, and people aren't speaking to one another and talking about these things, just making public statements. I think there needs to be uh, more of a bilateral conversation uh, direct conversation about how we can achieve uh, security for all. I mean, the entire region needs security, needs peace and prosperity. And I think that that's going to happen if we communicate with one another rather than talking at one another, which is what seems to be going on right now. You mentioned that uh, John Bolton, going back to his days as um, U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, has sort of got a a bit of a hair trigger when it comes to parts of the Middle East, in particular Iran. Does he speak, do you think, for President Trump on this, or is he sort of going slightly off message? Well, I'll tell you this. I, I'm not sure that President Trump is knowledgeable enough about the region and about the history uh, in order to have an opinion on his own. Um, I think that Bolton will be the person who, who informs him, along with Secretary Pompeo. They're going to be the people who give uh, President Trump his information, and President Trump will then make a hair-trigger decision, which is what President Trump usually does. Um, but I, I think that Bolton, again, he is somebody who thinks war first. He thinks conflict first. Um, He's someone who gets into, uh, you know, partnerships that perhaps should be vetted a little more strongly. Um, so I think that this is uh, a troubling news for the entire region um, because of his history and, and what he seems to think in terms of his uh, political philosophy. Okay, so, so if John Bolton is the one with the local knowledge, if John Bolton is the one with, with the iron fist, uh, when he suggests that the troops won't be coming out immediately, as Donald Trump had said, you know, within 30 days, I think it's now been extended, 120 or, or whatever. If John Bolton says that, what is his aim in trying to keep U.S. troops there that much longer? Well, I think President Trump got a lot of flack for uh, making that time limit um, which I honestly think was a bad idea as well. I think that we need to be out of Syria. I, I totally agree there. But what needs to happen is a responsible uh, withdrawal, not just an immediate withdrawal uh, and not thinking about our allies, not coordinating with all of the people in the region. And that's one of the things that um, I think Bolton thought he was coming through fixing, but he still has the war hawk rep reputation, and uh, he's going to bring that to the table. So 
I think President Trump's, uh, in, uh, you know, inclination to leave Syria is actually a good one. It's just the way he did it was wrong. And now Bolton is trying to fix that, but also creating new problems as we go along. Okay, nations and an administration in flux. Uh, we thank you very much indeed. Jason Nichols talking to us from Maryland um, in the United States. We're actually from outside the White House, but representing Maryland. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.